Final race of the night at Happy Valley. We finish off with a class three. We're over the 1650 for the eighth with 12 of them heading to post as well. Headed by Holy Heart it was a really impressive winner uh, last time out over course and distance. Uh, the Rock steps up from the 14 to the 1650. He won at Chartin last time out. Heavenly Thought, another last start course and distance winner. Flying Tour gets up to the 12 to the 1650. Toy Coons, another one switching from uh, Chartin to Happy Valley, gets up in trip as well. Angel of My Ives is a winner, two starts back at Happy Valley. He tries course and distance for the first time. And down to Rich and Lucky, who was a course and distance winner last season for Peter Ho and Dylan Moe. He'll jump from barrier number six. Now, Holy Heart, the Rock, Heavenly Thought, and Toy Coon are the horses that have been up at Chung Fry in the last 30 days. As always, we're at the touch screen to have a look at this uh, final event here, Mark, as far as the speed map is concerned. Now, it's saying slow here. Um, who are the likely uh, pace setters and who are the horses we're looking out for? Well, we've got Heavenly Thought going to the lead, Andrew. Now, Rich and Lucky, the day he won down in grade, he actually led. So if the pace is slow, perhaps he might push forward and try and uh, look for the lead again if he can do that leap of faith. Uh, he is currently a little closer to the speed. Now, I missed the start last time, which put him back in the field. Um, he was way back in the field out of his ground. A better start from him. If he ends up where the speed map has him, he's going to be a lot better for Leap of Faith supporters. All right. So, possible changes there. Paul, what have you seen out at track work in the morning? Well, as you mentioned, Holy Heart was very impressive at his last start. He seems to like it here at Heavy Valley. And uh, he's gone well. So, he's improved since that win. He hasn't taken a backward step. At all, Zach Purden uh, will stick with him and uh, has been riding him in his last few starts and his work's been good. Uh, the Rock, another one who's going nicely, Joe Marrero aboard. Uh, now, he's going to come to Happy Valley for the first time under race conditions, but uh, the way he races, I think he can get outside the leader. I think it will suit him as well as uh, The Rock, so he looks another of the major players. And I thought Rich and Lucky's was a nice piece here. He would just went on from Rochford. I mean, Rochford's a Class 5 horse, but just see when he was given that rain, piece of rain, he really took off. And um, from barrier six, I think he's going to get a nice run in this race. Yeah, definitely the ability is there with uh, him. We'll start off, though, with um, the last start winner. And this is um, Holy Heart. This was at the day meeting, uh, Mark, and he just ghosted round on the inside and uh, produced. He was just way too good for them. Had barrier one that day, Andrew has it again here. It was a lovely ride from Zach Pert, and he's able to just pop out at the right time, appeared from nowhere and won. Paul, this was his first start in seven months, so you would think he's going to come right on from that and has to carry 133 pounds, so he's up uh, four on this win. Yeah, look, as Trackwick suggests that he has come on from it as well, uh, and it was a really nice win from him. Uh, I've got one to beat him, but I think he'll run well once again. OK, another um, last start winner. This is Heavenly Thought. Might get the soft lead as well, Paul. That certainly wouldn't do his, harm, um, his chances any harm. The other horse uh, to look out for is uh, Surrealism. We finished back in the pack running eighth. Yeah, now he'll come on for this race, uh, Surrealism as well. Uh, nice enough run, a nice win here from uh, this horse, Heavenly Thought. Now, Joe did ride him here, and Joe will ride the rock. I don't know if that was a previous booking or not. He's just going to find a little bit harder from 12. Now, we have got him getting across, and you have got the whole length of the straight to, to come across. I just thought Rich and Lucky might make it a little bit trickier for him. Yeah, I just find him hard to catch, Heavenly Thought. He's only up two pounds, but he's a last start winner. OK, Angel of My Eyes uh, looks a nice progressive uh, individual. Here out wide, swinging into the straight. So the other horse to look out for, we actually run uh, last in the end, and that is uh, Chater Pins. Um, what do we make of their chances here? East Star, the ultimate winner on this occasion, Mark. This is the best draw Chater Pins has had. His wins at Bendigo and Ballarat were 16 and 1400, so the extra distance isn't going to worry him here, but he does need to improve. Angel of My Eyes, Paul, this was his first start in Class 3. Ran on well. It was over 1400 to the 1650 for the first time. It doesn't look like it's going to worry him. It is his Happy Valley debut, though. That's a query. Um, he's coming here for the first time. He has got a wide draw to contend with uh, barrier number 10, but he has got a horse with a bit of class. Chater Pins can only improve because he hasn't beaten a horse home here in Hong Kong. All right, and finally, Paul, The Rock, um, trialling here at Happy Valley. Looks like he's acclimatised really well. Four starts, third, fourth, second, then a winner last time. Yeah, I don't think he can win again. This is the one I'm going to go with, um, The Rock. It was a nice run from him here, the, and the nice trial, I thought. He showed no problems with Happy Valley, and I, I think he's quite a progressive horse.
and that's Total Power, who we see early in the program storming down the outside and finishing off well. He's jogged in this trial. I know he's raced over 1,600 in Hong Kong. He won over 1,628 at Windsor, so he is proven over the triple. So. All right, Joe Moreira will take the ride. He'll jump from barrier eight on this occasion. As far as the market's uh, concerned, Paul, he's favourite to, to go in again? Yeah, I think he can. The Rock to beat uh, Holy Heart. It was a nice run from him last time. I expect another good run from him. Rich and Lucky, now he's a double-figure price here. He's going to get the best run in the race. So uh, And he'll be fitter from his last start, so I'm a little bit wary of him. And then Ains in my eyes there in fourth. So 2, 1, 12 and 10. Happy with the QQP there, 1, 2, 12. I think they're all going to smell what The Rock is cooking in the last at Happy Valley on that trial. Joe rides for Casper Founds from Barry Rate, 1,600 suits. He goes on top. Holy Heart is going to be fitter for that run. Angel of my eyes up to the 1,650. And Leap of Faith, he's at 10 to 1 early. He was slow away last time. If he can get himself into a better spot and be closer on his first run in this grade, he is not without a chance of knocking them off. 2, 1, 10 and 9. I think the market's got it right. One and two, two and one. That's my cue as well there in the final event. Now, as far as the stats are concerned, uh, heading into the meeting, uh, Paul, we're looking at Francis Loy and Zach Pert. Yeah, from the beginning of last season there, like he said, they've had 21 rides when they team up for nine wins, three seconds, three thirds, with a win rate of 43%. So it's above average uh, win rate uh, when these two team up. And they're going to team up with Run the Table in the first. Race one, number one, Run the Table. The horse has been downgraded. Boom. We'll talk about him, or I will, in a moment or so. Best bets uh, for what do you like? I like um, the, the rewarding horse here, rewarding uh, together. Uh, he's um, race number three. Uh, look, he's just going to get the perfect run from Barrier 2 with Joe on, and I think he's ready to win. He's only had the four starts and run well on all of them. So he's on top, the nine rewarding together. And uh, as the long shot with the each way play, uh, race four, number one, can't stop the feeling. He's been downgraded. He's got the inform Alexi Bedell aboard and he's having a second start for the new trainer. So four and one uh, for the each way. And then the play of the day in that race with can't stop the feeling, the well-rated ambitious heart and the last start winner, Beaver Chef, one, eight and nine. Race number six, Joe Marira as well for Casper Founds on Royal Race, £121, plays Regency Masters, 133 Strangely run race, that lady first race last time went fourth. The third behind at some street somewhere is a better guide. If he's close enough turning for home, he might be too quick. Wonder Brahma's up to the 16.50. The family's race well over further. He's a full relation to He's a Beauty. He should be nice valley to start the night. Race one at number six and the play... Q, QP, race two, one total power. First up, playwise racing well, as is Nunchucks. One, four, seven, race number two. Best of the night for me, class five, race one, number one. Run the table, down in class, up in trip. You just saw the stats regarding uh, Zach Pert and Francis Lloyd. I was holding a mic, I drop it. Best bet, run the table in the first. As far as the each way plays concerned, he's normally a massive price here, all you know. Um, but I think we're getting each way prices about uh, him, and he's a very honest campaigner. I think we'll get a good run uh, from him and the QQP in that race, including Mark's best as well in uh, Royal Racer, throw in Regency Master as well, one, two and eight, the QQP for me. So that's Happy Valley on Wednesday night. We're looking forward to a big weekend, uh, Mark Chevalier Cup. We talked on about Sky Darcy up to the mile, only 114 pounds on his back and buddies. So good last time out, he carries top weight, 133. He does, and King Shield comes into the race mm. too. So good on the all-weather, he switches to the turf. So if he can replicate the all-weather form, they'll know he's there too. Yeah, I don't know if he can. That's the that's query with him. But look, I'm really interested because he's going to be on trial, I think, now, uh, Sky Darcy, for the four-year-old series, coming in at £114. First time up to 1,600 metres. We'll get our opportunity to see how he goes. And he's... Uh, up against a good horse and buddies. He certainly is. We've got lots of interesting uh, PPs starting on the weekend as well. That's the show, though. Thanks for watching. On behalf of Mark and Paul, hopefully we'll see you at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. We will be racing to win.